Disclaimer, be advised that I'm not a professional trader or advisor. I am sharing my trading journey for entertainment purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, price or other information contained in this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage including, without limitation to, any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Trading foreign exchange indexes, stock market, futures, commodities, energy, precious metal, etc. carry a high level of risk and please trade on your own research and assessment. Please seek advice from a professional financial advisor for your trading needs. Hello my friends, welcome to Trading with KS. Okay, today I have a big announcement for everyone, for uh, all my viewers. Okay, today, right, starting from today, I will have another dedicated channel, okay, for Forex, Cryptocurrency, Gold, and Indexes. Okay, the name of the channel is Forex with KS. Okay, this channel, right, will be totally independent from the, the current uh, trading with KS. Trading with KS, I will focus more on the KLSE stock market. Well, this one, Forex with KS, right, will focus mainly on Forex. Okay, and crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, you know, those very exotic, you know, now is the very hot uh, currency in, in the world. Okay, I'm also focused on gold and indexes. Okay, so I want uh, these two channels to be separate so, uh, look, so you guys don't get interrupted, you know, uh, traders, forex traders don't get interrupted with KLSE video and KLSE. Uh, traders, you know, don't get interrupted with the forex video. So, uh, of course, you can if you trade both, right? You can uh, still you know follow my both of my video, both uh, both of the channel together. Okay, how to go to this new channel? Okay, you need to go to the search area, right? The search box of your YouTube. Look for forex with KS. Okay, single word, forex with KS. You'll be able to find. Okay, remember after you find it, remember to subscribe. Okay, after you subscribe, you can continue get my update on the forex, crypto, etc. Okay, and make sure you hit the bell so whenever I update a new story, you get my updates. Okay, I will also put the full links okay be below at the at the description box. Okay, so if you can't find my new channel, you can click the description box there, the link there, or you can cut and paste. Okay, copy and paste the link. Okay, this is the website. This is the site, right? Let's see how, how I will show you how to find it. Okay, so go to your search box, right? Your YouTube search box. Look for forex with KS. Okay. Okay, this one. S similar logo. Okay, but here is forex. Okay, forex with KS. Okay, so this is the video I uploaded the last week video there. So I will, I will uh, the latest right, the new forex forecast right, the forex video or I will uh, start to post on this uh, channel instead of the trading with KS, which is the KLSE channel. Okay, so make sure you guys remember come here, remember to click this button, subscribe. Okay, subscribe to the channel here. Click the bell, okay, to all the videos, okay. Make sure you subscribe to all the videos. So when I when, when I uh, post about the forex and the uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrency, so you get your updates, okay. Okay, so see you soon. Okay, bye bye. So let's look at the calendar first. So calendar US, okay, uh, the past trading week calendar. Okay, US actually nothing good about US. Okay, their CPI uh, is better. Okay, is better. Okay, uh, hit the forecast level 0.4. Okay, call CPI also. Call CPI is worse. Okay, 0.2 previous they expect 0.1. It also hit 0.1. So nothing special. Okay, uh, and the uh, uh, the speech right actually uh, president. Elect Biden actually spoke about the big stimulus coming to US. Okay, that is good for stock market, but generally the stimulus right is not good for US dollar because they're printing more dollar means higher supply. Okay, they're printing more dollar 
US dollar means higher supply. Okay, mean less demand means the price normally goes down. Okay, and uh, and a uh, Friday. Okay, you see the call retail sales actually drop. Okay, they expect uh, zero point one actually drop to one point four percent, and retail sales. Okay, they expect zero point zero. It actually uh. Uh, the result is a uh, zero point negative. Okay, not negative. Uh, sorry, uh, this one also called retail sales negative, negative zero point seven. Okay, so both is a drop. So not not nothing good for the U.S. dollar. Let's look at next week. Okay, next week a lot of data. Okay, we could quickly go through it. China. Okay, this one, China GDP. China GDP will affect the Aussie dollar and uh, New Zealand dollar because. They export a lot to China, so when the China GDP is growing, right, they really they require more resources from uh, these two countries. Okay, so Monday bank holiday, US US bank holiday, so we expect a slow, uh, uh US session. So uh, government Bailey speak for GDP, GBP. Okay, so Tuesday no big uh high impact news. Wednesday we got a uh, news for CAT. Okay, their minimum uh, monetary policy, right. They expect to be to, to, to remain the same 0 0.25 so if no changes okay on this uh, uh rate right interest rate so uh so there's no big impact on the uh you cat okay the cat so thursday we got a uh boc press conference okay after the rate they have a conference so uh thursday there will be a uh, president elect biden speak Employment change uh, on AUD and unemployment rate on Aussie dollar. <laughs> unemployment change, expect a drop, and the unemployment rate. Okay, they also expect, uh, expect uh, less. Okay, a drop in unemployment rate, which is a mix. Okay, mixed result. Okay, if the result actually comes forward better, okay, then it's good for AUD. Okay. So uh, so we also have tentative, BOJ. Outlook report, monetary statement, and uh, BOJ plus press conference. Okay, so they have a, a monetary statement. Okay, about their mon uh, monetary policy, and uh, in the evening we got a monetary policy statement for euro. Okay, fine refinancing rate. So expect the rate to be the same, zero point zero. So if no changes to the rate, okay, uh, it will be no no not uh, no high impact for the euro. Then we go to the evening, okay, so ECB press conference after the rate review, they will have a press conference. So 9.30, okay, it's a Philadelphia manufacturing index for the USD. Okay, so they, they expect a raise, okay, an improvement. And an employment claim, okay, then they also expect a drop on the employment claim. So this result, is if it come out better, okay, then it's good for USD. If it come out worse, then it's bad for USD. So uh, Friday, government Bailey speaks. New Zealand CPI, New Zealand dollar CPI. Okay, so they expect a drop on the CPI number. And uh, Friday also retail sales. Okay, return they expect a better retail sales. Euro. Uh, PMI Friday services PMI they expect the same. Manufacturing flash PMI. For French, okay. They expect a drop. German manufacturing PMI, they expect a drop. German services PMI, they expect a drop. Uh, the whole Eurozone, okay, manufacturing PMI and services PMI, they expect a drop. So they expect a drop in the production, okay, production and services uh, sector. So if the result actually comes out better, so it's good for the Eurozone, okay, Euro dollar, okay, uh, Euro. If the result came out worse, then it will be a weaker uh, euro. Uh, flash manufacturing PMI, flash service PMI for pound. Okay, they expect also lower. Okay, lower report, uh, lower numbers. And uh, in the evening we got cat retail sales. Okay, and zero point zero and zero point four. Okay, if the result is better, then they uh, they will be a uh, uh, better for. Cat okay. If the result is worse, then we worse for cat. So uh, in the evening, flash manufacturing PMI. They also expect a drop. 
Okay, so basically, Europe, they expect a weaker economy and uh, US Okay, they expect a stronger manufacturing for the US and a mixed result from the AUD, okay, AUD and the CAT is strong, right? CAT is quite strong because of the okay increasing oil price, so the oil price has been going up so generally CAT is very strong, okay? Okay, let's drop, let's go into the chart Okay, USD actually the price actually consolidated at this area, right? Uh, at uh, uh, support one area that we discussed last time. Okay, at support one, okay, the price actually did something like a railroad track, right? People call this a railroad track. So railroad track. Okay, the, the first time the price tried to break down, it could not break down, right? Okay, so the consolidation. So the first time the price tried to break down, okay, it didn't break. So it's an indication of a false break. Okay, if the price actually can break, okay, the next day it can break above, then this could be a buy opportunity, but it didn't. The price continue to break down, okay, continue to break down from this consolidation area. So this is a bearish uh, price action. So the price is going down, okay, very likely it will continue to go down for the next few days, okay, next one or two days or trading days, okay. So the next support that we want to look at, right, is uh, here, S2, 1.26, 1.2065 point to 1.2012, okay, and S3 support 3, 1.1933, okay. So this is the two area that, okay, might provide the support for the price to go up okay so looking at the okay strong breakout okay I would think more likely this will be the okay resistant that it will it will it will it will, it will, it will provide support okay it will provide support but we still have to see what it does at S2 this area okay so we are still want to see. Okay, we still want to see what the price does here. Okay, whether it okay, it depends how long it consolidates. If the price continues to drop very fast, okay, this will provide the support. 1.1933 area S3. Okay, if the price drop down very slow, okay, so this one could provide if you consolidate over here, okay, so this one might provide the support for the price to bounce up. Okay, so this one is a break of a consolidation, the price continue to go down. So we only for me I only I only trade uh, uh with the trend, okay. So I'm looking for a buy here, here, and here, okay. Let's just look at pound. Okay, pound we see a engulfing candle, right? This is an engulfing candle, so this is an uptrend. So the price actually moves up this to this uh resistant area. Now we see an engulfing candle. Okay, so the price okay likely it will drop down okay to this uh support one area 1.3541 or it may drop to this one, 1.3276, okay, these two areas before it bounce up. So I will, so if I want to trade the pound, I will look for, okay, these two areas for support. Okay, for uh, USD JPY, okay, USD JPY, the price, okay, came back and consolidated as between R1 and R2, okay? So the price actually stopped at this R2 area, 
Okay, so this is a cons consolidation over here. Okay, so the price consolidated and it haven't broke broke down from this line, right? The price actually came down but never closed. Okay, so the if the price can actually close. Okay, if the price actually can close below this, okay, there's most likely the price will continue to come down. Okay, if this one happen uh, as a, a false break, right? A false break is the price try to move down, okay, try to move out of a consolidation and went back and it breaks back from this area, right? So most likely the price will come down to retest S3, okay? Before we look for a sell opportunity, this is a downtrend, okay? We might want to, we still want to look for a sell opportunity at R3, okay? Now it's consolidating at R2, okay? If we can break away from R1, so, okay, there is another sell opportunity. AUD USD, AUD USD, you can see another uh, bearish engulfing candle, right? Okay, this is a bearish engulfing candle. Okay, most so looks like the uh, the bear is winning. Okay, the sellers is uh, currently is uh, winning. Okay, so from this price action, right? We expect the price to may come down lower. Okay, likely to the S2 area, 0 0.7523 or S3 area, 0 0.7379. Okay, if they see a bounce, okay, price got rejected, bounce up from these two area, okay, then there is a opportunity to buy. Okay, so the price didn't move much, much you know, uh, during last week, okay, for the... Uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, basically, the one, two, three, the five days, right? It's a sideways. Okay, so this is the five days: Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So basically, it's a sideways move. So we still want to wait. Okay, if it breaks down, right? Because of bearish engulfing candle. If it breaks down of this uh, sideways move, right? Most likely price will continue to go down. If it actually can break out from this sideways move, right? So this could be an opportunity to buy because of the strong okay. If it break out from this area, this consolidation, that means the price have a very strong bias, okay? That want to continue to buy the the pair. Okay, but judging from this bearish engulfing candle, price is likely to go down. So uh okay NZD USD so NZD USD actually form a consolidation some uh, uh, the railroad track again right here okay and the price actually broke down okay this is a uh, price actually broken down from the S1 support area okay now it will come and test the S2 area okay and this one S3 okay so we want to see which area that it provides support to initiate a, a buy. So S3 level, let me mark the S3 level. S3 level is 0 0.6916. Okay, so these are the area that the price will possibly okay bounce up. The next one is USD cap. Okay, so USD cap also we have a bearish, a bullish engulfing candle. Okay, the price actually being rejected. Okay, at this uh, S1 area, so the price is coming back down. So we want, now we want to see is which area that provide the support. 
Okay, whether it's R1, 128.01, or R2, 129.33, or R3, 130, okay, 1.3030. Okay, whether it bounce here, here, or here. Okay, let's zoom out a little. Okay, this is quite unlikely, okay, due to the big bearish uh, uh, candle. So, unlikely 1.2933 and 1.3030. These are the area, okay, that it is most likely going to bounce, okay, to provide opportunity to sell. Okay, the next one is uh, go. Okay, go actually consolidated over here. Okay, consolidated over here. There's a pin bar over here trying to push price up, but there's no movement. Okay, after the pin bar, the price goes sideways, and then the price here broke out from the this uh, sideways action. Okay, and S1. Okay, from this breakout, right, most likely the price will come to test the S2 area, one seven six five area. Okay, this one. The next resistance. Okay, if the price doesn't dive back in, indicate of a force break. Okay, so the price likely to come down here. Okay, so remember to subscribe and like my video, and remember also to share my video, and uh, remember to comment. Okay, just right there. Okay, you better price whether you use price section, and what indicator you did use MACD. Okay, so just. Uh, drop your comment okay so i can do um, more content actually targeted to the uh, to the formula that you use okay so okay see you again stay safe from Kuwait. bye bye